What's up everyone, it's Jim from One Point Samples, and in this video, I'll walk you through everything you need to know to make screeches in Vital. We've received a lot of comments about this, and we want to make sure that everybody knows how to make this, because making screeches is very important as a hardstyle producer, obviously, and Vital is a free plugin, that's great, and the interface is a little bit rough to get used to, but once you know that, you can create really unique sounds, because you have all these envelopes and LFOs that you can assign to whatever knob in this plugin you want. So in this video, I'll walk you through how to make a few of these screeches from scratch, some basic tips, some cool tricks that I've learned during uh, making all of these presets. And most importantly, they will sound like this. So we will either make a static screech. Like these. Or we will make complex screeches that are like instantly done with pitch automation and everything. Just like those. So let's dive right into it. First of all, open Vital and just initialize your preset. So what you then want to do is think, will I want to make a very detuned screech or do I want it to make it clear? So let's just start with a little bit of detune. You open the unison, make it a little bit more wide, rate it just like this. And what I always like to do is take an LFO, put it at a very high rate. So something like, uh, you know, put it on seconds and put it at like 55. This one I will assign to my fine tune, open it up a bit. And I already have this sound. And now to make sure that it's in pitch, make it bipolar. Because if I don't, you will see it just vibrates between the, the right part of the fine tune. If you want to make sure that's in center, you need to put it on bipolar. So then we have this sound. I will tweak it a little bit to make it a little bit better. That's pretty cool. Now I'll add some more unison. Now we have a vital screech. Uh, just very simple, you know. Then I make sure the release is down so it's more tight. And then it really comes down to adding distortion filters and everything. So let's just first make a static screech. We've made this here. And then I'm going to add distortion, obviously. Just like this. Then I'm adding a little bit of reverb and delay. So you can already hear that it sounds cool. Let's make it in ping pong. Put one on dotted as well. And then the other goes like this. Make it cut off. And then the delay will be a little bit like this. That's pretty cool. So now we have just like a lead going on and it's pretty simple. So what you then want to do is just make it a little bit more wide. And just as wide as you want it. And then you kind of get this static screech. Like the classic one. And if you just add another layer, make that one really wide. And you just turn it down a little bit. There you have it. That's just a really simple screech, right? What you then want to add is just an EQ to get rid of the bass, because that's just dirty. Now we have just a very simple thing to work with, make sure it's not clipping. So what we can add now is filters, pitch automation, and a little bit more distortion, and just some crazy things like flangers, phasers, and all these things. And the thing with Vital compared to Serum is that, unfortunately, there's not a zero square mode. So the distortion is kind of limited. Like, hard clip is pretty cool, but it's not... You want to have extreme distortion, which is not available. So what you want to do to bypass that is just crank open the drive in all these filters that come before the distortion. And the same with the multiband compressor, because then you really push the limits of this gain in front of the distortion and thus creating more distortion. So what you want to do is assign all these oscillators to the filter and then click filter one into filter two. So now you can control this. So what I really would like to do as well to make it more interesting is take a, a comp or a phaser and then just kind of put an LFO on this. And I'd like to use LFO one because it's very fast or I make another one. But let's see what happens. This one opens up for 100%. Uh, Let's just create something that's looping. And as you can hear, you can actually get this pitch sound into the plugin or into the screech if you start using a very resonant filter. But then if I remove this, so you can see what happens if I take an LFO, put it very slow. And then, or maybe let's choose an envelope instead. So if we take envelope, add this to this thing here, you get this. So now we made it a little bit more interesting. And what I can then do is take the same envelope and then take it to global voice transpose. And I'm going to add this to two octaves up. So I put it at 24 because that's two octaves. You can hear that it's becoming pretty cool. 
so you can like control the tone a little bit. And it's just the creative process. These are not really the standard screeches you hear all the time. Obviously, you can just remove the filter and you have a standard screech. And that's kind of like tweak it the way you want. What I like to do is take a filter and play around with this filter, make it really resonant with this knob here. And then just find a sweet spot at a envelope or an LFO and just play around. What you can then do is put stuff in front of this distortion. So what really helps is adding a chorus or a flanger because both of or, or, or a phaser. Let's get in all three of these because these three create different effects. If you want to make a wider screech, so kind of replicate this detune effect, take the chorus and just put it at like 16 voices, freeze it or like a very slow tempo. And then you get this very screechy reverby sound, you know, and that's pretty cool for me. So I take the feedback down because if I open it, keeps on going i want to have it static so i put it on feedback zero or like a little bit and then i just add a little bit of cutoff not too much and that's it for me that just adds a little bit of a layer to this thing what you can then add instead is a flanger which kind of replicates this too if i freeze it you can see that it's pretty cool you can make it faster but then just open up both of these a little bit. And then finally, we will add a phaser. And that's a really cool effect. This is something that I've heard in Thyron's music, like full force. It's very cool if you have this phaser before the distortion, because it totally changes everything, changes the game of your screech a lot. So and add the chorus and flanger, or just either one of those. And I want to make it, keep it clean. So what I might do is reduce this detune a bit. And just see what happens. You know, sometimes it gets a cool thing. And what you can do as well, maybe take another filter in this other thing and just see what happens if you play and with another filter. As you can see, that's just kind of not getting there. So, and obviously you can take a macro and just add it. So you can kind of tweak this sound very fast. So add this uh, to the attack and to the decay, and then you can easily just create a few variations. Then we can add another macro and then add this to this amount here so then we can just tweak the tone a little bit more um because that really helps if you can do this afterwards so that's just one kind of screech you know and that's how i get my screeches so what i do is create these single oscillators detune them at filters at lfos i really like to add this one to the fine tune because it gives a very you know fast detuned effect you can add it to each and every one of these that's just totally fine just make sure you make it bipolar and you can also add this to the detune you can make sure that it's even more detuned it's pretty cool right you have this very unique effect so that's just in general how you do this. You create a lot of chaos with one very fast LFO. You add it to the fine tune, add it to detune, just detune the hell out of everything. Then add a filter with very high resonance. And then you want to add it at a very cool spot where you get these sweet spots, you know. Then you add distortion and to make sure that you totally crank every possible distortion you want into this distortion thing because you don't have zero square compared to Serum. So uh, it's soft distortion, kind of. Make sure you just crank the uh, drive because then you get more distortion. So that works. Then you add an LFO to this thing here or to the fo uh, voice transpose. Because if you t t uh, create a lot of resonance in your filter, it will generate a key for you. So let's say I play this in G. <laughs> It doesn't mean the sound is in G if it's really resonant, because that then depends on the uh, cutoff range you choose. And that's why you use key track. It's somewhere here, but it's not that important. You can render your screech, see what key it is, and then just pitch it accordingly to your kick or to your melody. So you have reverb delay, EQ for the bass, phasers and chorus in front, and that's it. But then there's a few more things you can do. And that's, for example, just take down the uh, detune. Because now you also have a screech here. And if I remove the filter, it's kind of boring. I can reintroduce a little bit of this detune. 
you can see you get a lot of different sounds from this, you know, and that kind of makes your screech cool or not. So if I remove one oscillator and take a few of these warp modes, for example, FM from oscillator two, and you take down this level. So it's only playing as oscillator two and you FM it from oscillator two. It's only playing oscillator one and you FM it from oscillator two. You can see that you get a little bit different warp modes as well. And you can also add like something like performance skill or arm stretch. As you can see, there's just a lot of stuff happening. So uh, I reintroduce everything. That's a pretty cool sound. So what you can do is literally sit in front of Vital, do this for four hours straight, just create so many screeches. Make sure to save your screeches just here. Create whatever name you want, like screech one. So you can always go back and find the screech that you made because once I tweak this here and add like a few sounds, I have a totally different screech and you can play around with that. So make sure you save a lot of screeches. Secondly, uh, if you want to change the UI of this plugin, you can go to advanced display and then you can do custom and load teams. So I loaded the serum team because I uh, thought it was funny. Anyways, you can add whatever teams. There's people making pretty cool themes out there. By the way, if you want to grab a lot of presets, we're releasing a vital preset pack in a few days. It will contain 150 plus presets, including a lot of leads, screeches, basses, plugs, pads, and kicks. Even kicks, yes, we're introducing kicks too. So make sure to uh, stay tuned for that pack. So if you like this video, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. It helps a lot. Drop in the comments what you want to see in the future. And as always, have a nice day. And thanks so much for watching. Bye.